hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your boy manual and welcome back to yet another video from me today we're gonna review a screen recorder called zd soft screen recorder so without any further ado let's get started as you can see here is the website for zdsoft.com i'm gonna visit this site all right guys it's a nice looking site all right uh, so before getting into trying out the screen decoder i just want to look at the products they have to offer you've got screen decoder you've got screen decoder with apis which is fantastic great i'm gonna click on free download but before that i just wanted to click on buy now to look at the pricing there is a free trial for 30 days and we've got $39 for one PC and $58 for two PCs, which is fantastic, you guys. The pricing is good, um, but in the trial version, you get watermark on the video and it is only available for 30 days. All right, I'm going to just click on try now. I'm going to download the .exe installer, setup file, and click on save. There you go guys all right the dot exe file is downloaded i'm gonna click on the file to install i'm gonna click on next i'm gonna accept the agreement and click on next i'm gonna choose the program directory and i'm gonna install all right the setup is now complete i'm gonna click on finish there you go this is the ui of zd soft screen recorder actually they have created a nice little horror effect here once the recording mode starts and here we can just look at how to create videos and we can actually capture online videos and we can record webinar meetings and record pc gameplay all i have to do is just click on capture online video and as you can see i'm getting a nice little blinker here to select my area so i'm just gonna choose my entire screen and there you go the entire screen has been selected and as you can see here i've got i've got a nice little console here where i could set up the screen size again and i could actually um choose mouse cursor to be on or off so i can just switch on the mouse cursor and in case if you wanted to include my webcam i can click on the webcam over here and my webcam feed starts and i can set up my microphone here and i could also set up my speakers here all right so in case if you wanted to annotate i can click on the not annotate button here and i can actually choose to draw some stuff right it's fantastic you guys and i can actually uh, create an erase button and actually i can erase whatever i have annotated so far um, and if i click on this number button I can actually choose number one, number two, number three, number four. This is a fantastic feature, guys. I like it. And if I wanted to start the recording, all I have to do is click on this record button. There you go. The recording has started. We have a nice little timer over here, uh, which is really fantastic, guys. And in case if I wanted to add some text, I could actually add some text. Hi and i can actually place that high over here or if i want to say hello i can just keep an hello here it's just fantastic guys i can also create pointers like this um, and random drawings which is fantastic you guys all right i'll just stop the recording here there you go the recording has been saved as an mp4 file and here you go so time to look at the recording this record button there you go the recording has started we have nice little timer over here uh, which is really fantastic 
so guys uh, as you can see here the recording has been done nice little output but as you can see there is a watermark here and also I have my webcam feed here which is really nice you guys but you know we don't get to see the preview uh, which is a bummer guys it would be nice if we actually uh, were able to see the preview all right uh, so here we have an option to cut the video we have an option to join the video only so in terms of editing that is the only option that we have all right to open the directory we can just click on the browse button here and open the directory which is fantastic guys so this is a pretty simple uh, screen recorder you guys but it would be nice if we had uh, an option to actually look at the webcam feed when we actually uh, do the recording so that is uh, only bummer you guys otherwise it's okay right and i just wanted to talk about the settings here as you can see at the bottom we've got a little settings icon over here you can just click on the settings and then uh select different settings but before that i just want to talk about pepper cloud you guys pepper cloud screen recorder it's a fantastic screen recorder i've been using it on a daily basis it's fantastic We've got a nice record screen feature as well as we have storage and we can actually share our videos to different social media platforms and we also get to create thumbnails and trim the videos edit the videos as you go so I suggest you try pepper cloud you guys I will include the link in the description all right you guys now let's talk about the settings we've got the general settings here We've got quite a lot of settings where we could actually choose our sound, our screen, our screen region size, the video, the name of the video, whether it should be uh, saved as MP4, FIV or AVI, and the key frame interval, the frame rate up to 120 frames per second, which is fantastic guys. And then we could set up the resolution, we could set up audio and uh, what format it has to be downloaded and um, the streaming options where should you stream these videos directly uh, all you have to do is to enter the rtmp url and you can actually add a logo by clicking here and then adding an image that's pretty much it guys and i'm going to click ok and again when i go to the settings once again i can select the recording mode well, uh, where I could go back to the original page where I could actually record gameplay or just webinar or just online videos close it for now and here we can actually set up our script for the narration and I can show you an example hi everyone nice to meet you hi now i'm gonna hi everyone nice to meet you i can create a voice where i could actually set up the narration script so all i have to do is instead of speaking i can just give a script which is fantastic feature guys this is not available in much softwares which is fantastic so all i have to do is clear this and click ok and here i can actually configure the hot keys for my recording that's it and here i could have the mouse highlights mouse cur mouse cursor track uh, click effects and click sound everything regarded to the mouse cursor effects and when it comes to screenshot whether i should save it as png or bmp or jpg we can set up the file name here and when go to advanced options we can actually enable stealth mode where you won't be able to see the actual um, control panel and you can actually auto start or auto run and uh, we could set up a beep on the recording state change all of these can be done in the advanced options there you go guys that is the settings for you and with this i would like to end the video this is the dsoft screen recorder for you guys and i think it's a fantastic feature especially the narration um, i want to know what you guys think please post it in the comments and until i see you guys in the next video it's bye bye from Emmanuel. take care if you like my videos please subscribe and look out for the other videos that i'm gonna post
Thank you for watching.